this was um, a tough, tough, hard fall ball game. I feel like my team played uh, 38 of the hardest minutes that they could play. The first two minutes of the second half, we, we let up and uh, the momentum swung back their way. But the effort um, coming after the loss from Eastern Kentucky, losing by 20, not playing well in the second half, uh, I'm pleased overall with the effort that we gave trying to compete every possession. This was the, the defending OVC champions uh, from last year. We knew they were going to be tough. Uh, it was a hard fought battle. We knew we would be able to score, and we did. Uh, but we ran out of time. Well, one of the most incredible games I've seen. Um, it's been a long time since I've seen two teams, regardless of men or women, both get over, mm -hmm. um, you know, get in triple digits in regulation. Um, both teams seemed hot. And <coughs> I thought there was some hard defense, but I thought that the both teams were just hot. I mean, can you kind of speak on, you know, the productivity of, of both teams, actually, in that sense? Well, one thing that we talked about with our team, to give them confidence going in, uh, they keep uh, pretty much their three of their starters stay on the floor about 35 minutes a game. That means they don't want to get in foul trouble, so we wanted to attack but we needed to make sure we were scoring. So we came out with the confidence that we knew we could score whenever we wanted to, but it was a matter of where we make the shots. Um, I think we just had a, a few spurts there where on the inside we missed some key buckets, uh, some one-on-one -on -one moves. But I thought defensively we played tough. Heather Butler and uh, Jasmine Newsom, they are phenomenal guards. Uh, they put up these kinds of numbers against the elite teams in uh, in Division One women's basketball. This was nothing new for them, but certainly uh, they make you work. They challenge you. Uh, we were trying to contest every shot. I don't think they got many easy scoring opportunities. They had to still work for them. So I'm pleased with that, but overall I still wish they could have missed a few of those uh, contested shots. Um, it was uncanny at times. <clears throat> and defensively, I know uh, when you give up 114 points, there's a lot of ways you can look at it again defensively, but I, you know, how did you feel about your defense? I felt like we changed things up. Um, we, we threw a lot of different looks at them. Uh, but once they got in the open floor, which is where we know that they work best in transition, uh, if you don't slow them down, that's when they go to work. So we tried to eliminate that as much as we could. Uh, but we, we played man, we played zone. They scored in both of them. Uh, so at the end of the day, I really feel like those first two minutes of the second half really stand out to me. Uh, where we were up, I believe, nine it was at the half. And they came out and uh, went on like an eight to two run. And that really changed it for us. And if we could get those two minutes back, it's a ball game for us. Well, even then, it was, it, I thought it was still a ball game. It was kind of interesting that the last two media timeouts were pushed back because the play just kept going and yes. going and going. And you guys were really trying to force the issue, especially defensively. And, um, you know, and, and I thought both teams were getting a little tired, but they were really still fighting. And your team was really stealing balls, getting chances, and, and really going Yes, after. we were digging. We, we kept talking about it every time I would dig and compete. That's what we wanted to do. We didn't want to give up on the play, not one time. And I was very, very pleased with our effort to look in this box score and have six people in double figures. That's a lot of people doing some good things. And then even Destiny Gaston uh, had nine points and eight rebounds. That's almost seven people scoring uh, double digits in a ball game. So that that was that was an excellent game. I told them I'm, I'm tired of losing by 20 plus points. Let's make it a game. Let's go down to the wire. Uh, I'm never upset after a loss if you've given everything. And those Lady Tigers are exhausted right now. They they laid it all, left it all on the floor tonight. An interesting note is, uh, as we just looked at the score, with this <coughs> highest scoring game in the OVC um, ever. Wow. For, for two women, the four combined. 116 was uh, the previous back in 92-93, but you guys, between the two teams, wow. obviously, you know, beat that record. Wow. Can you speak this, on that a little bit? Or just I just I just think that's this was a fun game. Like I mean it was it was fun to coach down to the last ten seconds, down to the last seconds of the ball game. That's what you want as a coach, that's what you want as a player. Uh you don't want anybody to run away with it. You you want it to be a ball game, possession for possession, having to score, having to make good decisions. Uh, we met all of our goals as a team except for winning the basketball game. We out rebounded them. We had uh, under 15 turnovers, oh, excuse me, we usually try to get under 12, so I, that's my mistake. We met our uh, free throw goal of 70% or better. Uh, there's a lot of great things that we can take away from this game. 
uh, and hopefully we'll build on that. The challenge for us, though, is to get a win on the road. That's uh, the one thing that hasn't happened for us all year, and that's what we're going to focus on for the rest of this week is heading to Jacksonville State. We have to go there and get us a win so that it can get us where we need to be mentally. This is a tough game in many ways. Yes. Uh, you see a lot of energy spent and, you know, to put up that many points and, and still come away with a loss. So it's kind of tough, you know, mentally and physically. Mm -hmm. You know, how do you regroup and, and come back tomorrow and, and kind of start fresh to? Tomorrow, we, we've got to watch film. It's not as much a, a physical day tomorrow as it is a mental day. We've got to learn from some of the small things that happen. This is a, a game that we will learn lots of good lessons from. Uh, times where one-on-one -on -one we didn't make the right decision, cutting to the basket when maybe it should have stopped short or not cutting to the basket to get us that layup. Uh, we've got lots of things that we can pull from this, and I want to make sure that we watch it in its entirety tomorrow. No clips. We need to watch the whole thing to see the flow of the game so we can recognize when we should have slowed it up, when we needed to attack more uh, so that we can be ready for Saturday. But this was, this was a great, great, great game. This was a great day to play in the OVC. Something we had talked about a few weeks ago was talking about someone to actually take control and take the ball and want the ball at the yes. end of the game, trying to make shots. And to me, over the last few minutes, it just seemed like everybody wanted the ball. Yes. Um, so, you know, it seems like there's a progression there. And how do you sustain that if that is true? If you see that? I want to keep us confident. Whatever it is, uh, people are buying into being option one. Uh, I believe in my team. I believe in every player on this team that she has an ability to score when she touches it. It's just a matter of them them staying confident themselves. Uh, I told them I haven't given anyone a red light yet. Yeah. Uh, everybody has a green light to be ready to score it, but we've got to be smarter about the way that we score it. Uh, we want to make sure that Destiny Gaston is getting herself in a position for easy scores. She's having to score very difficult ways, uh, having to work really hard for scores. So we've got to work on watching film so she can see those angles that we're talking about um, so we can position ourselves for some easier scores on the offensive end. But this is, this is what you want as a coach. You want it to be uh, everybody wanting the basketball, and that, that gives me confidence that at the end of a game, whoever has it can probably do something good with it.